We've gotten used to something in this country. You have, I have, we all have, no matter your age, no matter if you're nine or 90 listen, watching this show right now, we've all gotten used to something, and this is what we've gotten used to. We've gotten used to the American government racking up debt, huge, point, huge numbers of debt. We're used to it by now. We don't even balk anymore. $500 billion deficit this year, trillion dollar deficit this year, oh, one and a half trillion. And we're just kind of used to that being how life works. So of course we spend more than we take in, of course, but I just want to explain something to you right now. The only reason that flies, the only reason we've been allowed by the world to amass $31 trillion in debt, the only reason we've been allowed to spend more than we take in is because the dollar has been thought of as being so strong that it would be the world's reserve currency. Reserve currency, that means when this nation trades with that nation, not even us, when uh, France trades with uh, Saudi Arabia, what, what currency do they use? The French one, the Saudi Arabia? No, they use the dollar. That has allowed us the freedom to spend way more than we take in. That's going away. The world's tired of it. The world's tired of watching us destroy the value of the thing they use for the reserve currency. It's called BRICS. There's an alliance of nations. They're already moving off of the dollar. And when that day comes, not if, when that day comes, you will see a shocking, drastic reduction in your standard of living like you can't even possibly comprehend. Now, that's all the bad news. The good news is there are things you can do and should be doing to protect yourself. Again, I like history. History tells me the future. What had value 500 years ago? Precious metals, gold, silver. And listen, when I tell you to buy gold and silver, I need to clarify, I don't care about gold and silver. I know I probably shouldn't say that, but I don't. I don't care about the shininess of it. I'm not a jewelry guy. I don't, I don't have necklaces and, and, and things. I just don't. I've, I got a wedding band and a watch my dad gave me. That's what I've got. I, I don't care that it's shiny. I don't care that it's expensive. I love precious metals just because they're reliable, because they last, because they've had value 500 years ago, 5,000 years ago, precious metals had value. And so that tells me no matter what the future brings, for America, for the world, gold and silver 5,000 years from now will have incredible value. Get some precious metals in your hands to protect yourself from the tsunami that is coming. Gold coins or silver coins, I don't care. Again, I don't have a preference because I don't care about them. All I see is wealth. I see protection, that's what I see. Get them in your 401k, get them in your IRA. This is how we will protect ourselves because there's nothing else we can do to stop these pieces of trash from wrecking this country. Gold and silver in your hands. For too long, we've been led to believe that communism is a thing of the past. But the truth is, communism is alive. It's here, and it's infiltrating every aspect of American life. Introducing the Anti-Communist Manifesto by Jesse Kelly, the practical guide for patriots ready to defend our nation from its most dangerous enemy. Discover the shocking extent of communist infiltration in our education system, their alliance with American corporations, and the twisted truth behind environmentalism. This eye-opening book exposes the true face of communism and empowers you to fight back. Join the fight for freedom. Pre-order your copy of the Anti-Communist Manifesto today by going to jessekellybook.com.